What's up everybody, it's TKE and today we're doing another prospect rebuild. This time we're doing Denny Abdia on the Cleveland Cavaliers as requested by one of you guys. So before we get into the video, as always, make sure to like and then subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate it. Appreciate it helps me out a lot. So let's get into this rebuild. So we ended up simulating the rest of the 2019-2020 the season and uh, the Bucks ended up winning the championship. They beat the Lakers in the finals four to three. Now let's see where the Cavs pick falls in this draft. It's projected to be probably like top five. Um, we're projected to get the third pick. We'll see where that falls and then we'll take Denny Abdia wherever it is. We fall to seven. Hopefully he's still there. If not, we're going to have to trade for him kind of like we did in that Wiseman rebuild the other day. But um, a lot of work needs to happen. John Beeline needs to get fired. We need a better coach. So we're going to try and bring in Michael Stauffer. And hopefully he accepts that. Trainer is bad, so we need a new trainer because we have a lot of young guys, young talent on this team that we need to try and develop. So we'll try and bring in Christopher Porter. Assistant GM also is not great, so we'll fire them and bring in hopefully Abraham Navarro. And we'll see if we can get them. They can fill out my head scout and my CFO for me. I don't care too much about those spots. So let's get to the draft. Let's see where Denny's projected to be picked and see if we can snag him with our seventh uh, overall pick. So Denny is looking to be, yeah, we can probably get him. He's projected to go 10th or 9th. So we'll simulate our pick and let's see if he's there. He is still here, so we're gonna take him here and then we'll get out of this draft and we'll make some moves. I wonder if Drummond is gonna accept his player option. I think he has one now so let's see if he does accept that he declined his player option so he's out the door so we probably have a good chunk of money actually so qualifying offers i don't want to extend it to either of those two and do we have enough money to like get anthony davis we don't have enough for anthony davis we have a good chunk of money though um i'm gonna go look and see if there's anybody that's on a big contract that we need to get rid of kevin love is on a big contract so he's really all that's taking up most of our money other than that like larry nance jr makes a little bit too much but nothing crazy we'll trade kevin love here see what we can get for him i'd like to get a young player on a smaller contract probably would be the best thing a uh, malcolm brogdon's on a smaller contract we'd have to give up our pick next year um i might try and do that i don't really know if that's the best move or not so I think we're actually going to make this trade for Buddy Heald and Bielitsa because Buddy Heald will be around. He's on a smaller contract and we don't have to give up our pick next year. We give up our pick in 2022 instead. And then Heald still makes a good chunk of money. So it is, it's fine. We can trade Nance Jr. and Bielitsa and hopefully get off a little bit more money. Um, otherwise, Kuzma and Quinn Cook, we could maybe do that trade. It wouldn't be too bad. We'll do that trick because it saves us a lot of money and then we'll go into free agency. We'll see who we can sign here. I'm guessing we still don't have enough money. Oh, we do have enough money for Anthony Davis. Um, I don't know if I want to trade for him or sign him or if I want to try and sign somebody else next year and just try and be bad again this year. Um, you know what? We'll try and sign Anthony Davis. We'll see if he even wants to come here. And he's going to the Lakers. So then who do we want to sign? Um, maybe Gallinari. I don't want to sign like a one of these big name guys because there's going to be better ones next year. And I'll just try and flip some people this year. Um, Try and get some young players that maybe have some good trade value. Like we're bringing Gallinari and Jordan Clarkson. And then who else could we bring in? Um, there's not a lot of options left now. Dario Saric, maybe we can bring him in. We can't quite afford him, but we'll see if he'll accept that offer. And he is signing that deal with us. So we should be good here. Let's go look at how like uh, Colin Sexton, and Darius Garland, all of our young players are looking after... Uh, this past season. So Gallinari's in 84. We have Sexton, Heal, Clarkson. So we have a lot of like shooting guards. Um, Garland's only a 75. So we're a young team. We are a very young team. So this season's not going to be great. This is going to be a season for developing players. I'm going to send a couple of them down to the G League. 
And next summer we're gonna try and sign hopefully either Giannis or Kawhi is there. If not, we're kinda gonna be screwed. We'll have to probably settle for like Paul George or something if he's there. So we're gonna send an untapped potential to Denny because he is the main focus point of this video. He's a 77 already and he goes up to an A plus potential. And then the other untapped potential we'll probably send to Darius Garland. And he goes up to an A plus as well. Okay, so they want Jetty Osman, Jordan Clarkson, and a 2022 second for the Hornets first round pick and Nicholas Batum. So obviously Batum's on a massive contract, but it is the last year of that. And that first round pick would actually be pretty nice. Maybe a bit of an overpay, but it should be a pretty decent pick. I'm gonna see if there's another pick we can we can trade for. Otherwise, we're just gonna get into the season probably. Might try and flip Gallinari before we start the season. We'll see. Okay, so I think we're gonna trade Danilo Gallinari and a second for Clint Capello. We save some money, and Clint Capello will be our starting center for the foreseeable future. So let's go see who we want to send down to the G League. I think one person I want to send there is uh, Avia. Just have him run in the G League and be a force next year. And then I think Darius Garland as well. I need to sign a free agent to do that though. So. So we're gonna see if we can sign O'Shea Brissett. He should accept that and he did. So now we should be able to send uh, Darius Garland to the G League. And then we should be able to set the rotation and get into this season. So we have Sexton playing point guard right now. He's a shooting guard, but it's fine. Uh, Buddy Heald, Kevin Porter Jr., Dario Sarge, Clint Capella, Kyle Kuzma, Quinn Cook, Dante Exum, Nicholas Batum, and Ante Zizic. I think that's pretty good. I'll see if we can throw like someone like Zizic and some of those guys in to get some first round picks or something. Also Nicholas Batum, maybe he could get us a pick. He cannot. So we're going to trade Windler for this pick and uh, Tariq Owens. And then who's another young guy we don't really need and we can trade away. There's a second round pick, I guess, and Robin Lopez. That's fine. And there's another young player, Ante Zizic, who needs to be traded. Tony Snell in a first round pick from the Pistons. We're gonna do that and we'll get into this season. We'll make sure that the rotation is good. And yeah, we're gonna be bad, which is kind of what I hope for. System, pace and space is two and a half stars. We'll simulate season number one. Hopefully this team is bad and we get a lottery pick, like a high lottery pick, and we can do some damage next off season, everything. Maybe we can try and win a championship in a couple of years. So this trade just popped up. It's Colin Sexton and Nicholas Batum for Devin Booker and Javon Carter. And honestly, Sexton's contract is up before this video might end. We'd have to try and bring him back. But Devin Booker would be here. And he's a better player already. I think we're going to do it. I don't usually accept um, offers from the CPU or anything, but we're going to accept that one. I don't know why the Suns are so willing to get rid of Devin Booker, but their loss is our gain, I guess. We'll simulate the rest of the season. We're going to be a little bit better than I originally hoped to be, but it is what it is. I'll catch you guys at the end of the season. So with this first season wrapping up, Giannis ended up winning MVP. LaMelo Ball won Rookie of the Year. Six Man went to Freddie. Uh, Kawhi won Defensive Player. Tony Bradley won Most Improved. And then Coach Bud won Coach of the Year. I doubt we're going to see any Cavaliers here on All-NBA teams. Defensive teams, we also do not have anybody. And then Rookie teams, we do not. Makes sense. Abdiya went down to the G League. So we obviously are not going to make the playoffs with that record. We went 33 and 49. But... The stats, Devin Booker averaged 24, Buddy Heald played pretty well. We can probably afford to trade Buddy Heald. Honestly, I don't know if Devin Booker's safe or not either. We'll see what happens. Um, Kuzma actually played pretty well. He averaged 12 points. Uh, Kevin Porter Jr., I wish I could have sent him to the G League as well, but I couldn't. And yeah, Garland and Bia did not get any minutes because they were in the G League. So let's simulate these playoffs. We'll see who wins the championship. We'll get into some rebuilding this offseason, see if we can make a run in the playoffs next year. Boston ends up winning the finals, and Kemba Walker is your finals MVP, so that's a little different. So let's get into the offseason. Let's see what draft picks we have, where they're falling. So we're projected to have just the seventh pick, so I don't know where our other pick would be, because we wanted the... Didn't we trade for a pick? Oh, we got Charlotte's pick, but they ended up being the sixth 
uh, they end up getting the 16th pick, so that's ours now. So we have um, the 9th and the 16th. So not as good as I thought. I thought Charlotte would be a lot, a lot worse, but things happen. So this trade offer here for Buddy Heald is actually pretty good. We'd have to give up both of our first round picks, but then we would jump up to pick number five and we would get Malcolm Brogdon as well. It was just a, a hair cheaper. We'd have to throw in a 2025 pick as well, but I think it's worth doing to jump up to five here. So let's see, let's simulate to our now fifth overall pick and see what we can take there. So we have Evan Mobley still here, Terrence Clark. I think we're gonna go with Mobley unless there's somebody better that I'm missing. Yeah, I think Mobley is the best player to take. So we'll take him and we'll get out of this draft. We'll see if we have any money to sign a free agent or anything. Probably not. We might have to trade uh, Brogdon even though we just brought him in. So we'll sign Evan Mobley, of course. And we'll pick up the team options on Garland and Porter Jr. We'll extend the qualifying offer to Kyle Kuzma, but not to anybody else. Um, if Kyle Kuzma signs a huge contract this time, I am not matching it because I cannot afford to lose anybody. So we don't have enough money for a big name free agent, so we're going to have to look into trading either Capella or Brogdon. Could bring in Jackson Hayes. I also saw a trade for um, Clint Capella, which would be good because he's on such a small contract, it would give me the money to sign someone. And then we can just flip him after. So we're going to do that. And yeah, so now we should have enough money for Kawhi. I don't think Giannis is out here, but Kawhi was out here. I saw him. And I also see like Paul George, Donovan Mitchell, Rudy Gobert. But we're going to try and get Kawhi. We'll also throw an offer. Oh, we don't have enough money for Kawhi. Dario Sarge makes $9 million, So we'll throw him into a trade and probably try and get something decent for him. Like Daniel Gafford would be good. A first round pick from the Knicks would be good. A couple first round picks from the Pelicans. I think we're going to do the Pelicans one. And maybe that's enough money for Kawhi. Maybe it's not quite enough. That is enough money for Kawhi. So we'll throw him as big of a contract as we can. Player option, no trade clause. And we'll offer him that. We're also going to offer it to... Offer a contract to Paul George just in case. And then to Rudy as well, just in case. Because I want to be able to get someone, even if we have to trade them. We are getting Kawhi, so that means we'll not be able to bring in Paul George, obviously. Which is fine. And who else could we afford? Can we afford Lou Williams? We could afford Lou, so maybe we'll throw an offer at him. We'll also throw an offer at... Alex Caruso. And we get Lou Williams to sign. And we get... Alex, uh, we don't have enough money for Alex Caruso, so now who do we have enough money for? Dante Exum. He was on our team, so we can bring him back over the cap. And let's sign Boban just for fun. So we get Boban, we get Dante Exum, and we're good in free agency. So let's see how everybody progressed in the G League and just throughout the season last year, because we have a lot of young talent on this team. Kawhi obviously is a 95. Devin Booker's an 89. Mitchell Robinson's an 87. Brogdon is an 85. Evdia jumped up 7 points to an 84. Garland jumped up 8 to an 83. Uh, Kevin Porter Jr. is a 79. Mobley is a 79. Yeah, so the team is actually pretty good. Probably have to sign some scrubs just to fill out the roster though. So we'll go to training camps and we'll see who we want to send to those. So again, we have two camps. Untapped Potential, the first one is going to go to Kevin Porter Jr. this time. And then... I want to know if Evan Mobley has... Um, a plus potential already. He has B plus potential, so we're gonna send him. And he is now an A plus as well. So let's get into the season. Let's make some moves. Let's see if we can actually make a run at a championship now that we have Kawhi. So obviously a couple moves need to be made. I'm gonna look into trading Mitchell Robinson because he is on the last year of his deal, and if he's not around next year, that would be kind of rough trying to fill his spot. So I'd like to find a center that's good on a multi-year contract. And I don't know if one really exists out here. Clint Capella, we could throw Clint Capella back. I mean, we'd have to give up a pick and we'd get back a 2024 pick. And we'd throw out Lou Williams as well, which isn't terrible. Mo Bomb is on the last year of his deal. Bull Bull, he's on the last year of his deal. Gosh, I want to get Bull Bull sometime. We'd also get Vernon Carey. 
Um, but I don't think Bull Bull wins us a championship. We could get Okongwu, who's on a cheap contract. We'd also have to bring in uh, Derek Jones Jr. But I think the smartest move is to trade back for Clint Capella. And he's on a multi-year contract, so if we don't win a championship this year, he's still around. And who should we try and trade now? Uh, maybe Dante Exum with like Boban. We could get a nice bench piece if we throw in a first round pick. George Hill, yeah, we'll do that. He would be a good bench piece to have here. So we need a backup center and a backup shooting guard. So uh, George Hill or Malcolm Brogdon is gonna run shooting guard for us off the bench. And I don't know which one I wanna make our shooting guard. George Hill goes up to a 82. So we'll probably do him and leave Brogdon as uh, an 85 as our backup point guard. And then we need a backup center, I said, so we'll have to try and trade for someone. But we have a bunch of draft picks, so maybe we can get something decent. We're gonna try and sign John Henson and then use him in a trade because he has a little bit more trade value probably than like Sam Decker does or Reggie Bullock or who or whoever we tried to trade before. So we'll throw in these two uh, top 10 protected picks and maybe we can get something a little bit better than what we were getting offered before. Nicholas Claxton, that wouldn't be bad. He's a 77 overall. So that's what we're going to do. Balance system seems to be the best. It's four stars. So we'll use that. We'll simulate season number two and see if we can make any or do any damage in the playoffs. Hopefully we can just win a championship and it'll be over. But I will catch you guys at the end of the season. So we just got thrown this trade offer. We'd have to give up Evan Mobley and George Hill, but we would get Tyus Jones and Jaron Jackson Jr. Sure, Jaron Jackson's on the last year of his contract, so we didn't win a championship this year. We'd have to try and bring him back, but I think it's a risk I'm willing to take because it'll definitely help us win a championship this year. So now we gotta look at the game plan. And Denny MD is not even starting. He's an 85 overall off the bench. Is that the end of the world? Probably not. I guess we could run Devin Booker at point guard, run Leonard at shooting guard, and then put Denny in there. But I think we're just gonna roll with how it is. I mean, he's a second year player and it's his first year actually up in, with the NBA team. So I don't think it's too bad. I'm gonna probably switch either Tyus Jones or Brogdon to a shooting guard though, just to make the rotation a little bit more even. I think we're gonna do Brogdon because Tyus is pretty small. He goes up to an 87. So we got Garland, we got Booker, uh, Leonard, Jaron Jackson Jr., Capella, then off the bench, Brogdon, Abia, Porter Jr., uh, Tyus Jones, and then Claxton. I'm gonna run Porter Jr. as, well, no, it'll probably be fine with him as small forward, and then Denny can run the backup power forward minutes, even though he's still a small forward. So I'll simulate the rest of the season now, and we'll see how good this team is. So we ended up winning 61 games and Giannis ended up winning MVP. Jalen Johnson won Rookie of the Year. Uh, six man went to Anthony Edwards on the uh, Golden State Warriors. That's interesting. Uh, Kawhi ended up winning Defensive Player of the Year. So we must have had a really solid defense this year. Most improved went to DeAndre Ayton. And then Coach of the Year was Kenny Atkinson. So we don't have anybody in any of the All-NBA first, second, or third team. Kawhi makes defensive first team, and that's all we have. And then Denny Abdia makes all-rookie first team. Nobody in all-rookie second team. We are the one seed in the Eastern Conference. Let's check out these stats for the season. See how Denny played. Uh, Booker averaged 20, Kawhi averaged 20, and then our guy Denny averaged uh, 16 points, 6 rebounds, about 6 assists as well. Jaron Jackson Jr. played well. Hopefully we can win a championship this year and we don't even have to worry about uh, going into next season. So we'll simulate this first round against these Pacers and we go up 1-0, 2-0, 3-0. We do sweep the Pacers and now it's time for the Bucks. This is going to be interesting but we do have, we do have uh, Kawhi. So I want to just make sure that he is matched up on Giannis and that's going to be the big thing for us. So. Giannis is going to be guarded by Kawhi Leonard. Okay, and we should be hopefully good enough to win then. We go up. Okay, we win 4 1, so that's not too bad. Now we're going up against the Hawks, who always seem to be good in 2K, but they have Trey, Kevin Herter, DeAndre Hunter, uh, John Collins, and then they got Andre Drummond in the Clint Capella 
Uh, no, it wasn't a trade. They must have just signed him. And then they got Danilo Gallinari as well. Killian Hay is off the bench. This is a good team. They are the three seed. Let's see if we can take them as well. We go down 3-1. Wow, that's rough. I'm going to go make some changes. And then I'll catch you guys when we start simulating again. I'll probably do SimCast for it. All right, so we made some changes. Let's see what we can do. Let's simulate with SimCast, see if we can win game five. And we start out down a little bit, and they start to seem like they're blowing us out. Oh, no, we're coming back. This is kind of close, but we do end up winning by 12. So we're going to go to a game six, see if we can win that one as well, and then come back home and try and finish out the series and come down from 3-1. I doubt it's going to work. 3-1's a hard thing to come back from. It's a back and forth game here, heading at halftime. They're up just a little bit and they seem to be running away with it in the fourth. So we are gonna lose here and we'll have to go through another season and we'll see, when the cha we'll see who wins the championship this year. The Hawks actually do end up winning the whole thing. So let's go into the off season. Trey Young was the finals MVP. Let's see um, what we can do, what moves we can make. See if we can bring Jaron Jackson Jr. back and try and win a championship. So we're going to accept the team option on Avia, Garland, and Kevin Porter Jr. Bring back some of our young guys. Qualifying offers are going to be extended to all of these guys. Hopefully, Jaron Jackson Jr. for some reason doesn't even get a big contract. And we can just bring him back. But he is a restricted free agent, so that'll help us because we are going to be able to match anything he gets. Jaron Jackson Jr. is prepared to accept an offer from the Suns. It's four years, 120 million, so that's a crazy big contract. But we're gonna we're gonna match it because I need to bring him back. It would be a huge loss um, to not bring him back. So now I'm just gonna sign some people to hopefully fill out the rest of the roster. So we'll try and bring Tyus Jones back. We'll try to bring Nicholas Claxton back. Hopefully we can bring at least both of them back. Claxton is coming, and Tyus is coming as well. And then we'll try and bring in Denzel Valentine, I guess. He accepts our offer, and we should be pretty much good. So let's see how everybody's progressing now. Let's see if Denny's up to like an 87, 88, maybe, hopefully. Kawhi is, an, is a 95. Devin Booker's a 90. Avdia is an 88. Brogdon's an 88. Capella's an 88. Jaron Jackson Jr. is an 88. Garland's an 87. Ford Jr. is an 82. And then we have Tyus, Claxton, Valentine. So we have some young players as well. This will be the final season, whether we win the championship or not. But I think we probably can get it done. So let's send some people to training camps and let's get into the season. Two camps again, untapped potential this time. One's going to go to Kevin Porter Jr. again. And then I think one's probably going to go to like Claxton. Because everybody else seems to be playing pretty well. So we need Claxton to be um, a good player for us off the bench if we don't end up trading him. So we just ran it how it is. We'd have Garland, we'd have Booker, Leonard, Jaron Jackson Jr., Capella, and then off the bench we'd have Adia, uh, Malcolm Brogdon, Kevin Porter Jr., and then Tyus Jones, Nicholas Claxton. Um, I wanna make some moves. We probably have some picks to work with. Darren Fox, uh, Jalen Brown. I've had good luck with Jalen Brown on my team in the past, so that wouldn't be a bad move to make. And that probably is going to be a move I'm willing to make. I could also bring in DeJounte Murray, run him at shooting guard off the bench, and he would go up a little bit as well. But I, for some, I've just had really good luck with Jalen Brown. So we're going to do this trade. It's not really an upgrade, but I think I'm going to run Brown as a small forward. I think he probably will jump up to an 89 or a 90. He goes up to an 89. Brandon Clark could play power forward for us off the bench because we don't really have a power forward off the bench. Um, it's kind of been like just Denny Avdia playing the backup power forward role even though he's not technically a power forward. So if we bring in Clark, then Avdia can stick to that small forward role, which he's a little bit more suited for, I think, especially 2K wise. And yeah, so we'll try and trade Tyus as well. Maybe throw Jeff Teague and a contract, or not a contract, a pick with them. See if we can bring in a better backup point guard. We could bring in Alfred Payton, who's a little better. Kendrick Nunn's a little bit better. But nobody's really that much better. Lamarcus Aldridge fell off the face of the earth. He, earth. He's already a 76 overall, only a couple years in the future. Rough life, man. 
There's not really a lot there for Tyus. Maybe we don't throw Jeff Teague. Maybe we just throw Tyus and then a uh, couple picks with him instead. Maybe we can get something a little bit better. Kobe White, that'd be a good backup point guard. Tyler Hero is also there, but I need a point guard more than like a shooting guard or a small forward. So we'll trade for Kobe White. They threw Jeff Teague in the uh, trade as well. That's fine. And what position do I want to upgrade here? We got a good point guard and shooting guard in the starting lineup. And obviously the rest of the starting lineup is good. Off the bench, um, yeah, so Jalen Brown, we probably should run him at shooting guard then because Denny Avdia is a small forward. But we need a center, so we'll try and trade Claxton for a center off the bench. And then we should be pretty much good. He makes 12 million, so we might be able to get something pretty decent with a couple first round picks. I'd love to get like Okongwu or someone like that. DeMarcus Cousins, I never really trade for DeMarcus Cousins, but we could, that might work. Chris Boucher is also there. I think we're gonna trade for Robert Covington, flip his position to a small forward and then try and trade him and get something better because his overall will jump up. So where's Covington at? He's here, he's gonna go to a small forward. I'm also gonna change um, Jalen Brown to a shooting guard again before we do anything. Yusuf Nurkic would be a good center to have. Jonas Valanciunas would also be good. Jarrett Allen, Miles Turner. Bull Bull. This, should I do the Bull Bull one? I always talk about how I want to bring in Bull Bull. He's not the best overall center out there, but it's been a dream of mine to bring in Bull Bull. Why? I don't really know. He always seems to win sixth man of the year or most improved player or something. So we brought Bull Bull. I'm happy with what I did. We have Garland, Brown, Leonard, Jaron Jackson Jr., Clint Capella, Devin Booker, Denny Abdia, uh, Brandon Clark, and Kobe White, then Bull Bull. We're gonna run a 10 man rotation to make sure that Bull Bull is in the lineup. I think that's all we're gonna do. Let's look at the uh, system, make sure that's good. Balance is four stars. Everything seems to be four stars. Seven seconds is four stars. Defense is four stars, actually. Our, we have a pretty good defensive lineup outside of Darius Garland. Um, I think pace and space is probably what we're gonna run, though. That's our coach's best one, and it fits everybody really well, except for Capella. So, we'll simulate this. You know, maybe we should try and get a center that can shoot, then. If, I'll look into trading Capella if we can get something. All right, there wasn't really any offers for Clint Capella, so we'll simulate this season. We'll see how good this team is, and then I will catch you guys at the end of it. So we ended up with 70 or 67 wins, 15 losses. Luka Doncic won MVP. Rookie of the Year went to Monty Bates. Theo Maldon won six man. Anthony Davis won Defensive Player of the Year, and then Kevin Porter Jr. won Most Improved, with Michael Stauffer being the Coach of the Year. On the NBA first team, we do not have anyone. Second team, also no one. Also nobody on third team. Defensive team, I don't see Kawhi on first team. He is there on second team though. And then rookie teams, I don't know if we have any rookies. I don't really remember. Um, we are the one seed again. We're going up against Orlando, but we'll check out the stats again, see if Denny played well. He's actually our second leading scorer, 16 and a half points per game. Uh, nobody over 20, Kawhi averaged 19, but pretty good stuff. Denny also averaged five rebounds, six assists. Uh, bull Bull, nine points, four rebounds. Probably not the best player we could have got, but it is what it is. So let's simulate these playoffs. Let's see if we can finally win ourselves a championship. We go up 1-0. No. Dude, we just got eliminated in the first round by Orlando. I tried to stop and it didn't even work. Wow. Who's Orlando even have? They have Jalen Johnson, who's a absolute freak. RJ Barrett, Josh Hart, Aaron Gordon, Vucevic, Rozier, Portis. I don't know how that team beat us. Wow, that's rough. How bad were our stats in the playoffs? Kawhi average 19, yeah, we were pretty bad in the playoffs, not gonna lie. Wow, this is a pretty big failure, honestly. I thought we were gonna be able to win this one. All right, well, I guess that is it for today's video. I don't, I'm kind of at a loss for words on that one, but if you guys wanna see any other prospect rebuilds or anything like that, 
Make sure to drop them in the comment section below and I will definitely try to get them done. I did the Wiseman one and I did that Cade and Lamella one for the Pistons. So let me know what team, what player you want to see and I'll definitely try and get it done. But other than that, it's been TKE. It's been real. Peace out.